Following the earthquakes that rocked southern Japan, the Japanese self-defense force jumped into action with some assistance from a group of MV-22 Osprey from Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron 265, based out of Okinawa, Japan. So today we launched uh, two sections of V-22 Ospreys out of Irukuni to go to the uh, uh, Hayuga, which is a Japanese amphibious assault ship, to pick up humanitarian relief supplies off the ship and bring them into the disaster zone. The government of Japan is leading the effort and requested the U.S. military support during this difficult time. It's important for us to be working with them rather than taking control because yeah, we don't have to run the show. And it's, it's, We're here as guests in the country, and so we're here to support them in any way that we can. And uh, you know, They tell us when and where to drop stuff, and we're more than happy to take it there to help them out. And they did help in a big way. Get into the ship. Uh, everything was, they had a ton of people out there on deck ready to go with supplies, waiting, waiting on the deck of the ship, uh, ready to throw in the back of the airplane. I think the supply on load, we took a total of uh, 7,000 pounds in my aircraft, and uh, that only took about 15 minutes to put all that on, onto the airplane. The MV-22 Osprey played a key role in assisting the disaster relief efforts. The V-22 is a very flexible aircraft, so we have a long range and we can do a lot of tasks, such as like, CH-53s and UH-1s that are attached to us, they don't have the range to make it out this far, we do. But for these Marines, it's not just a mission, it's a chance to help. It's nice to be able to uh, do something to help other people out, you know, that's one thing that's uh, always appealed to me about doing these kinds of jobs, is being able to do something for somebody else, you know, when they're in a time of need or time of crisis, something like that, you know, provide aid. Reporting from Marine Corps Air Station, Iwakuni, Japan, I'm Marine Corporal Justin Glandenhall.